All right, Juliana, let's take a look at the tail of the tape between Ryan Lilly and Ralph Augusta. Ryan Lilly has a two-inch reach advantage, and he's also nine years younger than Ralph Acosta. Ralph Acosta, if you can look at his record, 15 and 12 is the number that jumps out at me. He's got quite the fight experience. All right, it'll be Lilly taking on Acosta. Acosta, black and red trunks, 15 and 12, a lot of uh, experience. And then you look Ready? at the younger fighter, Ready? Ryan Lilly, Fight. in the black and green. And again, he's only had a handful of fights. Five to one, though, six pro fights. But uh, Giuliani said he didn't want to make this fight a fight to the ground. He wants to keep it upright and give the fans something to cheer about. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Ralph said that he was going to make sure that this fight was a fight that uh, the fans wanted to see. He claimed that it was going to be fight of the night. And, uh, you know, he's got a, a big, huge bolster as far as wrestling goes. He uh, was a high wrestled all through high school and won a state championship and he then parlayed that into a scholarship at upper iowa university as a four-year starter he reached the rank of number one in the nation at 133 pounds and became a two-time all-american and three-time national qualifier so he's a he's a massively good wrestler he's a gym owner and uh, he loves to fight yeah upper uh, upper iowa as you mentioned d2 a very solid school i mean anytime you have wrestlers in Iowa, you're talking wrestling out of Iowa, you know that they're gonna come and they're gonna be very crafty and well-skilled as well. And he wants to take it as opponent this evening, which would be Ryan Lilly. He wants to take him in the deep waters. Again, this is a chance for Ivan Fluchok. If he can use his left shoulder pressure into Ryan's chin there, he can uh, potentially get his own uh, a ghost choke, phantom choke, Ivan choke. But instead he beats to the body. He's completely fine in this guillotine. He's at no position of getting the choke. And it lands him into full mount. Early stages. This opening round slated for three catch rate 140. Spear to crowd this evening. Nice shot by Ryan Lilly. He uh, got out of the full mount and gave up his back in the process. And Ralph Acosta is going to be trying to rain down some heavy punches until he can slip underneath the neck and sink in a rear naked choke. Well, the one thing about Acosta, he's going to leave it all in the ring. You look at his last fight, unanimous decision loss to Alex Perez. But he believes that he is a, quote, well-traveled fighter. Some people call him experienced, well-traveled, journeyman, but he believes that experience will take him through this evening and perhaps get him a W. And he's got a winning record of uh, 16 fights and 12 losses. He's an experienced vet for sure, to say the least. And this is uh, Ryan's second fight with Combate America. He's looking for a win under the, under the promotion. Which would be a big win on his resume, going against a fighter that's had 28 fights. Absolutely. He needs to uh, break that figure four triangle and get his back and shoulder blades to the mat. Though. I'm making a plan to get back to the top, baby. His corner said, start making a plan to get that way back to the top. Unfortunately, that's not going to do it. You need to understand the technique. That's a choke, and it's done. Wow. That's it, that's it, that's it. Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens, right? Does it not happen? You totally turn around, does. and you see experience, triumphs. Yeah, that's exactly. If anyone wanted the definition, there it was. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end officially at 2 minutes 51 seconds in the very first round. Tenemos el tiempo oficial de 2 minutos 51 segundos en el primer asalto. Declare your winner by the way of submission due to a rear naked choke. Su ganador por la vía de la submisión por un mataleón. From Riverside, California, Ralph the Spider Monkey. Costa!